Okay, guys, I'm here today with Dallas Nails. Huge honor for me. Guys, Dallas is a specialist in crucifix, and today he's gonna show us here a guillotine from the crucifix. So that was new to me, uh, Dallas, and uh, can't wait for you to share. Yeah, so this one is maybe the tightest guillotine that I know of, or I've ever personally like been able to do. So uh, I think you guys are gonna like this one. There we go. So here I am in the crucifix. I have my control, okay? Just remember, it's all about that shoulder control. With me holding his arm with my legs, there's no way for Bernardo to be able to turn to his right. He's stuck. I have to keep control of this side or he's gonna be able to turn to his left. So I always maintain these controls. From here, my choking arm is gonna come over and around. And what I wanna make sure I do is I don't want my hand getting stuck in the armpit. I'm gonna bring it above his arm and I cup my own thigh on the back of my thigh. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna let go of the arm. And what this does is it gives him a way to actually turn and start to move. So once I let go of this, as he starts to come up, you guys will notice I'm gonna come up with him. And from here, I'm leaning into him, pulling my hand through. You guys can see my fingers. Now I can lock on my guillotine. Ah, it gets tight super fast. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> One more time, you know this. Absolutely. So, so I'm in. I have my controls, nice tight backpack or seatbelt here, making sure I maintain control of this shoulder. From here, I can let go. And as I let go, I'm always sure to keep tight on this shoulder so he can't get away from me yet. When he gets away, it's gonna be because I let him. Now I'm coming over the top, cupping the back of my thigh. And remember, make sure it comes over the top of the arm here, okay? I wanna pass this arm. That way I have just his neck whenever he turns up instead of a head and arm guillotine. Now I let go to let him free on purpose. And as he comes up, I'm gonna come up and I lean into him. That's gonna help me get my hand through, my leg over. Now I'm in Man, super deep guillotine. So oh, Dallas, while you were in the crucifix with the arm over my neck, is there a submission from there as well? Cause I was already feeling like not like a 100% choke, but was already like getting tight on my neck yeah. from there. Yeah, so that's the other little thing is like, in case someone didn't take that bait and want to come up, which is pretty rare, but just in case, I'm easily going to be able to transition to a super tight Man, that's incredible. north-south choke as well. That's incredible. So, no, it's amazing. Oh, it does. And how did you learn this? How did you develop this? Well, uh, it all started before I was a white belt. Uh, <laughs> Are you talking about the note? The, no, this one specific. So, okay, this one specifically, I actually saw Gary Tonin doing this for the first time. Like I've developed a lot of my crucifix. Chasing guillotines from yeah, the crucifix. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, that was interesting. I've, I've developed a lot of it in like, without being shown anything and kind of figuring out myself. And this was one of the things I saw elsewhere. I was like, man, there's really something there. And so yeah. I, I kind of just started developing it and working on that. And yeah, Gary Tonin actually is a big inspiration for this one. In uh, yeah, I can picture him trying to do the threads, yeah. chase a guillotine, the guillotine yeah, from there. He's crazy. Oh, sorry. And what about the, the crucifix in general? The crucifix in general. So yeah, that's like uh, what I was going to say earlier. Like I watched a show when I was, uh, what, I was probably 22. I started Jiu Jitsu when I was 22. I'm 37 now. Um, and I saw this show and Hicks and Gracie did a crucifix and he was showing like how the effectiveness of jujitsu is called fight science. I can remember it to this day. And on that show, watching that, I kind of figured out what he was doing. Like, it's pretty simple. You know, you're holding the guy, you got your leg around his arms and I just kind of figured it out from a really basic level. And from there, I started training about a week later and I had that in my head and in my mind. And so I already kind of like was looking for it from day one, catching oh, guys in the first week oh. and like, oh, yeah. I, This is something that uh, in my entire Jiu Jitsu career, I never heard about like someone being passionate with one technique, even before they started Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. So that's very unique. It's super weird. I think about yeah. sometimes like what my game might look like had I never seen that. And it'd probably be totally different. So oh, yeah. like oh, something oh, I'm really known for or good at is like, it was kind of chance, uh, you know? No, and another thing that's very cool about your career as well is that you got all your belts from the same instructor, which mm -hmm. is a legend, right? Like Rafael Lovati Jr. Mm -hmm. And you, you even trained with his dad in the beginning, right? Yeah. Which is even cooler. Yeah, his dad was my very first coach. And then once I became 
an advanced student, that's when I was starting to be able to attend uh, juniors classes. Oh, uh, Lovato one of, was one of my, what was probably like one of the guys that I fought the most in my career. I fought against him like I think six or seven uh, times, mm -hmm. and uh, he was one of the, my biggest challenges in my entire career. You know? And he's he's that type of guy that if you give him one inch, he's gonna capitalize and you're gonna lose the entire match just because that inch. You know, like. Unfortunately, I'm also a deep half guard player, and so oh, yeah. he would actually try to beat me up the most getting ready for you. Uh, that's awesome. that's <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's incredible. And the uh, last thing, Dallas, you are opening your school in Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? Yeah, this year uh, I'd like to have the doors open uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma for my own Lovato Affiliate Academy called Method Jiu Jitsu. So, super yeah, excited. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah so guys, uh, Dallas already had one instructional video at BGG Fanatics about Crucifix with Gi, and now he's shooting uh, another one about Crucifix, no Gi. So, very soon it's gonna be at bggfanatics.com. Make sure to check that out. By the time you're watching, it's already there. And learn from, uh, it's, it's rare to find someone who all they do is crucifix. Like uh, I, I, I know one person from Marcelo, Joe Burgess. Marcelo is very good at crucifix mm -hmm. as well, but it's so so good to know. Like yeah. uh, another one that this is the main position. So, guys, make sure to check that out. He's probably like one of the best crucifix in the world. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. It and thanks so much, Dallas. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.